Okay, so the start of a variety is obviously crossing. So when we cross, you need to pick your parents. So you pick your female plant, and that is your egg donor. And you pick a male plant, and that is your pollen donor. So when you pick your female plant, what you have to do is number one, get your plant. Number two, make sure that there are some heads coming out, but they cannot be fully emerged like this, obviously, you can already see, but they have to be coming out of the boot. So here's our boot. This one's about 75% emerged, so this is pretty nice. And uh, the whole point is, obviously, is that the anthers inside have to be immature. They have to be light green, because if they are yellow, and if you open that up and it's yellow, just stop, because it means that it's probably self-pollinated and you don't want to take that risk. So, this is our female plant. It's 75% out of the boot, and we have to take out our anthers. So we have our female, she's out of the boot, 75%. So I'm just going to pull down that right here to expose the whole head. And this is called emasculation. And emasculation is taking out the male parts. So we're going to take out the anthers. OK, so on our wheat plant, what we have is we have a pistil that's white. And our pistil is surrounded by three anthers. So Anytime you see a pistil, you've got to pull out three anthers. If you're pulling out two, that means you've left one behind and you're going to self-pollinate. Okay. So for emasculation, you need a tiny pair of scissors and very tiny forceps. So first what you do is you can pull out the middle floret just to make things easier. So there are actually usually about three little flowers around a spike like this, okay, a spikelet, there should be three. So we usually like to pull out the middle one just to make our lives easier. And then, got to take the scissors and give it a haircut. Like to go about, hmm, about half, maybe a little less than halfway down the spikelet, as such. Then you get in there. And if you come up, you can see two pistols and three anthers surrounding it. Anthers look light green, so we're good. We can go ahead. We've got to pull them out. So I have one, two, and three. Okay. There we go. I've pulled out three anthers. There's one pistol right there. So I said there are three, right? So we pulled out one pistol. We have two remaining. So I did one, so I have one more left. OK, so three more anthers. One, two, and three. Oh, there we go, three. There we go, nice and clean. OK, so we got two little pistols waiting for us. OK, so these pistols, um, they are not ready uh, to receive pollen yet. They are immature, obviously, because we had to pull down the leaf. So in about two to three days, we'll check them. So we'll put a bag over them. In two to three days, we'll check them. Okay. So once I have finished every single spikelet, I will write down the name of our variety. So let's just call it, I don't know, egg one <laughs> times and we have to write down the date of emasculation. This is important. So today is July 23rd of 2020. Okay, there we go. So there's our bag. Put it over once everything's emasculated. Go like that. Close it up. Then we check in about two to three days. So what we are looking for is those pistols will actually have a very feathery appearance. When pistols are feathery, that means they are ready to receive pollen. And then we can pollinate them. And that's our next step. OK, so here's the female head that we have chosen. It is about 50 to almost 75% out of its boot. So we can pull that down gently. OK, so now we're going to emasculate. Okay, so first, so here's a spikelet, as you can see. Yeah. 
spikelets everywhere. Okay, so usually it, there are about three flowers inside here, so I'm gonna just separate this to show you. So here's our first one, second and third, okay? So to make this easier for ourselves, I'll pull out that middle one, just so we can focus on two, be easier. So after this, you give it a haircut, look at about halfway, Okay, so what do we see? You can see some light green anthers. So there should be a... Just pull that position. Yeah. Yeah, perfect takeaway. Okay, so there's going to be a pistol on this side and a pistol on this side. There are three anthers surrounding each pistol. So it's nice to count them because if you miss one, there is a chance it can self-pollinate and you don't want that. So I'm just gonna go in. So there's one anther. Two, oh, sorry. I think I pulled out one right now. One anther. Oh, there's the second one. Okay. And I actually pulled out two on the first try. So we got three on one side. So there's that little pistol. You can see it on the side. Oh. There's that pistol. Okay, so we got one. So we need the second one right here. Okay, so there's an anther. So two anthers, there we go, came out, we've got one more to go. There we are, and there you go, there's another pistol. So you've got two pistols, no anthers, and that is a successful emasculation. Okay, so we have waited two days, we are assuming, two to three days after emasculation. And if our little females are happy and they have feathery heads, that means they're receptive to pollen. So we can find our male parent that we want. So obviously the point of this is that you wanna combine traits. So you've gotta find something that you wanna combine. Don't find something too similar to your mother. Um, okay, so let's use this guy. So what you're looking for are nice yellow anthers. Uh, you do not want them to be white. It means that they are done and they are old. And anthers tend to come out in the heat of the day. So noon, when it's really hot, hold your hand there, you know, it'll actually stimulate them to come out. So let's see if we can find some pollen. All right, so for pollen, we're gonna give this guy a haircut this way into angles. Okay, this is just to open them up. Oh. And we're just waiting for some of these anthers to come out. And you want them to be nice and plump and yellow. So let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut a bit more. Okay, I actually have one anther. Okay, so the whole point is, is you want them to have pollen. So if you've got an anther that has pollen, looks nice. Just go over in there into that pistol and you just touch it. That's all you do. So go one, you go two. And usually you can use that anther for mm, probably most of the head. Uh, I personally like to use two or three because I just want to make sure that I got some pollen on there. So once you're done with that anther, you can just leave them in there. And then after, so important, you have to write down that variety so you know where it came from. All right, so we have our egg donor, the female. We have our pollen donor, the male. Now actually why this is really important is because the seed in the end, so it ha it's not self, this is artificial pollination, right? Because we have actually gone in and we are pollinating this ourselves. So this is a form of hybridization. So it is important that we mark the female and the male. The seed will have nuclear DNA from the male plant and the female plant, but it will only have cytoplasmic DNA, mitochondrial DNA from the mother. So this is actually very important. So after it has been pollinated, you close that bag up. Okay. And that's it. You wait for that plant to mature and you hope you got some seeds and you count them.
and they'll be dried and shriveled and they will not look good and plump and healthy, but that's okay. That's what an F1 looks like.